Well, hello everyone once again. Now today, the power is out again as usual. And it's a perfect time for me to show you what one of these variable frequency drives can do. Now I apologize for the lighting. I've just got a spotlight. But you can run a three-phase motor, like on this blower here, from the variable frequency drives without power. That is, mains power. Of course you need power we can run it from a battery pack. Now the interesting thing about this is not only will it run the motor from the batteries but it will do it in an uninterruptible fashion like that thing that you hear beeping so it's pretty simple. A variable frequency drive sometimes is called an inverter and most people when they think of inverter they think okay it goes takes batteries DC and converts it into AC the variable frequency drive sometimes might confuse people when they call it an inverter because they see it's got an AC input and an AC output, but it really is an inverter. Inside the AC is turned into DC, and there's a point of entry for the direct current called the DC bus. So that means we can connect batteries to the DC bus and it will run the inverter. So what we've got is quite simple. There's an AC 240 volts input, which is not active at the moment, and a rectifier, and a circuit breaker acting as a switch, and the batteries, which are hooked up to the rectifier, and the mains are hooked up, the 240 volt mains are hooked up to the rectifier. So now, even though the power's out, I've switched on the batteries, and we can still run the three phase motor. as you can see. And even if the power comes back on and goes off intermittently, it won't matter because the batteries will act as surge suppressors and the batteries are connected to the rectifier. So it only really gets DC power. The variable frequency drive only gets DC power. So regardless of whatever happens, power or no power, as long as the battery pack is connected, it will always work. This is also useful for taking single phase 240 volts and converting it into variable output three phase 240 volts. And yes, we can go pretty high. So, useful if you want to run a three-phase motor in a power outage with a characteristic that's like an uninterruptible power supply. It will work even when the power is intermittent and it will work when the power is completely off provided you have the batteries. Now, I should say it will take quite a few batteries or a boost converter because this particular variable frequency drive is 240 volts AC so that means it will require 300 volts DC at least, preferably 340 volts. So there you have it, VFD from battery. Alright, so the lights are back on. I thought I'd like to give you a little closer look at it. So, all the connections happen here at the connection block, and I don't know if the camera can see that, but if you look at it from the outside, this is the AC input, 240 volts, which at the moment is just plugged into this cord here. And those are the flat terminals, so 240 volts. And that goes in that rectifier. And on the rectifier, the positive and the negative output is connected to this cable, which is connected to this battery pack. So those are all tied up as one. The battery and the rectifier output are tied up. They come together there. And from there, the direct current goes into the circuit breaker. The output of the circuit breaker then goes to the variable frequency drive there and there on the DC bus. 
and then the three phase output connects there, comes out here, and it goes to the three phase motor. So, again, power or not, as long as the batteries are hooked up, all you need to do when the drive starts up.